Hey guys, so in today's video, I thought that I would talk about narcissism because it's a real thing and I've dealt with it, still kind of am in a way, um, and I wanted to talk about it because it's it's very important. I know probably a lot of you already know the term, you know, it's it's a it's a personality trait that certain people exhibit um, that really places a lot of emotional abuse on others, um, especially upon others that um, they perceive. They perceive as either weak or um, uh, people that are emotionally intuitive, that have a lot of compassion, a lot of love. It's a very common trait for narcissists to... Um, uh, embed themselves within those types of people because they have to have that in order to feel self-important, in other words. And I, the reason I'm bringing this up, and many of you, I mean, I'm sure most of you know what this is, but the reason I'm bringing this up is because it's a very important part of the human journey, um, especially if you're a light worker, if you're a an empath, um, if you are highly, sens highly sensitive, very compassionate, very loving, it's very easy to get enmeshed with a narcissist because they don't know any other way to live their lives. And we also have to have compassion for them, of course, but we're not giving them excuses for why the way, th for why they are the way that they are, in other words. Um, the first thing I want to say before pointing out some of these narcissistic tendencies is that we are all capable of having narcissistic traits. I am guilty as well, you know, um, nobody is in, infallible, you know, we're all fallible human beings incarnated and we have human bodies and we have egos, that's the ultimate thing. We have egos. Um, humbling ourselves and carrying the thoughts of compassion and love around at all times is really hard for some for a lot of us because of that, because we are in human bodies, because we feel the need to protect ourselves. But that's all, all a part of the ego, right? If you allow love in, if you just allow the, the rawness of love into your life and the compassion and all that stuff that comes with it, um, unconditional love, it, it naturally flows into your life. Um, when you fight against it, that's when you have issues, if that makes sense. So we all are capable of being narcissistic, okay? So I'm just going to put that out there. We're, none of us are perfect. And all of us are learning our life lessons. So I'm just going to list off and then kind of um, branch out. Okay, so number one um, personality trait always talks about themselves. Guilty. Guilty as charged. Um, now it's more so that I talk about myself in order to help other people or to... Um, you know, just be, just be as compassionate as I can, but I don't, I'm really very quiet these days, honestly, very quiet. Um, I don't, and I kind of always have been, honestly, like I've never been one to want to shine in the spotlight and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with wanting to shine in the spotlight. Um, if you've, you've got a lot of talent, um, uh, with my, with this YouTube channel, it's th my intention with the channel is not to shine in the spotlight to get as many subscribers as possible or to, um, you know, be the head honcho, you know, it's, it's, it was never in my signed contract when I incarnated to do that. All I want to do is just to live an honest, loving, peaceful life but I do love making these videos because I know that it helps some of you. So, and the reason I'm talking about, <laughs> the reason I'm talking about myself is just because I, I want to give some kind of, um, 
understanding as to how this works. You can always tell a narcissist from um, someone that's not because the narcissist will go on and on and they will stop you in your tracks if you start talking about yourself or if you um, if you try to explain your emotions, whether they're positive or negative, they'll just stop you in your tracks because they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They don't, they don't care. They care about themselves. And that's fun. That's self-preservation in a way. And, and, um, we all have that, but it's not okay in my eyes. And, um, that's why you have to have boundaries in relationships. Uh, they fantasize about power, success, and being brilliant. There's nothing wrong with success. There's nothing wrong with fantasizing about the things that you want. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem comes in is when it becomes all about you and it's not about anyone else. They believe they are superior to others. They talk down to people especially the ones that they love the most or that they're closest to, they talk down to them. Not okay. Not okay. Requ um, they require constant praise. Why do you need constant praise? If you know that you're great enough, if you know that you're you, 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 you shine and that you have your, your unique gifts and your unique qualities that make you who you really are and that you are enough. Why do you need to do that? But I, I can, from the other side of the coin, I can understand why people can think that way, because if they feel insecure enough, they will do that. And we, and we've all been there. We've all been there. Again, I call my, I call myself out. I will always call myself out on my videos, but when it comes to the fact that you are eliciting praise constantly from people, it's, it goes from being steady and strong within yourself to, I need you to tell me that I'm great so that I can feel great. And it's not... To me, that's just not, you have to, the love and the self-respect has to come from here, not from others, not from anyone else. Even if everybody else in the world told you that you were a piece of crap or whatever insult they could throw at you, you know in your heart that you are enough and that you have so many gifts to offer, to offer to the world. I hope you hear me on that. Every one of you is unique and you have gifts to offer the world. Sense of entitlement. That's a big one. Yep. It's, it, you know, um, I have, I, I need to have it all. I need to show off, you know, um, it, I liken it to uh, being a toddler or being like a, 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 a young person. They don't know how to... I feel like when I'm up against a narcissist, they don't know how to be adults. Like, they don't know how to process their emotions. Like, and that's, you know, you know, everybody's at their own growth level. And I'm trying not to be judgmental here. Um, but they don't know how to process their emotions correctly. So they lash out at others, they project onto others, they project onto their circumstances, they don't know how to process. And so the sense of entitle entitlement, um, it, it reminds me of toddler years, you know, honestly. Um, I think that's it for that, for that one, because I think, I don't think I can go very much farther without sounding too judgmental takes advantage of others. There you go. I don't think I need to say any more about that. Envious of others. Why? If you know that you're enough, 
if you feel complete within yourself, if you know deep within your soul that you came here to love and to give and to be the best version of yourself, why are you envious of other people? Yes, we all get envious. I am not denying that. We are human. We all get envious. But there's a difference between feeling the feelings of envy and enacting them in your everyday life. And that way, and in that way, you're actually choosing actions that reflect that envy, if that makes sense, which involves also hurting other people in the process. So there's a difference there. So those are just some of them. You can look up. I'll, I'll probably post like a couple of good links below um, to um, f flush out what exactly narcissism is. But I think, you know, there's plenty of information on the Internet these days and most people are able to access all of that. So um, but the bottom line is that we we have we have to. Hold compassion for all people, of course. But we also need to be knowledgeable about what's going on with people. Um, present with what, what is actually going on. Because it's, it's very... Um, if, if we're not, then we, we inevitably get hurt. We get... Um, we get the lower end of the stick, so to speak... And sometimes we will anyway, but what I'm saying is, is that it's really good to know this information on the spiritual path. If you want to grow exponentially, you know, grow as fast as you can, you have to, you have to know these kinds of things, um, personality types, and um, it's more of a logical aspect of spiritual growth and development, but it is necessary um, I'm not saying I'm a know-it-all. I am not. I still have a long ways to go in all of that. Um, I tend to be more drawn to the, um, you know, the higher realms of spiritual development. I don't know how else to say that. Um, I'm the psychology part of it is is where I. Uh, I don't do as well in, but I do know what a narcissist is because I've been there. <laughs> I've done it several times and I know, you know, and um, I just, what I want for my life from here on out, peace, love on people, be, um, do what my passions are, you know, be my passions, do what my passions are, um, to love on my son and the people that I love most. I, it's just, it's so simple, right? It's so simple. It just is. It's simple. But for a lot of people, they like the drama. They like the constant, you know, I just don't even understand how, where they get that energy from, honestly. I mean, it draws on my energy when I'm around narcissists a lot. So, anyway, I hope I brought enough awareness around this subject. It's very important, and it's important for you to know um, on your spiritual journey as you are ascending, as you are growing and expanding and um, conscious awareness of yourself. So, I love you all. And I will see you in the next video.